Hey everyone, Joel Hansen here, and it is raining outside, so let's make this quick. I'll try to cover my camera. So we are here at the Winter Inn in Greenville, Michigan, uh, which is just outside of Grand Rapids, Michigan. I think it's like 30 minutes north. So we're here to do their chicken wing challenge that Randy Santel did not too long ago. I think I did the first 50 in 19 minutes, I think is what I said. But for all 66, which is the new record here at Winter Inn in Greenville, Michigan, the official time for 66 was 29 minutes and 34 seconds. So the challenge consists of 50 wings in which you have one hour to complete it. If you successfully complete it, you get the meal for free. But if you beat the house record, which is now 66 wings because of Randy, you not only get the meal for free, I believe a t-shirt, but you also get $200 cash prize with the potential for more than $200 because it's like a pot. So every time somebody loses, attempting to break, beat the record, they add an extra 10 bucks. So I'm not sure what the pot is, but it's minimum 200 bucks. So let's go in, see what we can do. And let's eat some wings. All right, everyone, here we are with the wing challenge. So I split into two containers because they were really hot and it's like insulating them so it allowed them to cool off faster. Uh, wings normally come with sauce on the side, so that's how I got them. I do have a variety of sauces here that I definitely will use. But at that, we're gonna have one hour to eat this, these 70 wings. Uh, the wings are 60 cents a piece. So currently this is about 40, 42 dollars or whatever it is. If I can eat 50, I'll get 50 free because that's the base challenge. And then I'll have to pay for the extra. But if I can eat them all, I'll get them all for free. And of course, if I want a $200 cash prize, actually it may even be 210, I'm not 100% sure. I have to eat them all in the hour. I don't have to beat Randy's 29 minutes. We're gonna start now. I just put all the wings back in one container. Got a bone container. So we'll start, let's say five, four, three, two, one. Let's eat, thanks very much. Hey everyone, welcome to today's video, and we have described this challenge already pretty thoroughly, so I won't do much more of a description, but here I have 70 wings in front of me, which I had to eat within the hour, well technically I only had to eat 67 within the hour, to officially beat the old house record and win the cash jackpot. So I had 70 in front of me, uh, we're going to see how that went, I did not have to beat Randy's time of 29 minutes, again I could do that within the whole hour. Anyway, just wanted to sit back, enjoy some wings, these wings were absolutely super delicious even without the sauces, which I did also have a variety at my disposal as well. Really like this restaurant, so I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Three minutes in. I don't know how many I ate, but we're doing not bad. Where's your friends? 
Do you have to concentrate? Um, I guess so. You're very, very handsome. Thank you very much. Time was about 14 minutes, maybe like three seconds. So we about half Randy's time. So anyway, delicious wings. Literally, uh, it's the first time I've ever eaten wings unsauced and thoroughly enjoyed them. Super delicious, super juicy. All staff here are great, great food. So if you're ever in Greenville, Michigan, you know where to come. The wings are in. And hey, you might as well give the uh, wing record a try. So for completion, I get the wings for free. I get the pot cash pot whatever it is and I believe a free t-shirt so that everybody thanks for watching until next time say happy healthy hungry and happy eating to update you correction oh my camera's a little there we go so two hundred ten dollars the jackpot <coughs> I also actually get a gift card twenty five dollars I believe twenty five dollar gift card wings for free also a t-shirt And I intentionally, so I mean, I, I had one hour, I only used 14 minutes. I ate 70 wings. I could have eaten way more. I still could eat way more. Theoretically, I'm still in my time limit. I'm sure I could ask for more and crank up that record, bring it, you know, well over 100. However, I kind of have a moral 
calling, like a moral compass where I don't want to do that. The reason being, the previous record holder before Randy was just a local woman, like a hundred pound woman who came in and ate 61 wings. If I crank the record up to over a hundred, the probability of people actually being, like coming in and being able to beat that record, it just diminishes it and it diminishes the fun. You know, whereas 70 is still very, I think, quantifiable and it's still very uh, accessible for a lot of people. So, and, and I wouldn't benefit from it at all. I still got the jackpot, you know what I'm saying? So I hope that people in the future who do come break this record, if you have the ability, do the same. Just beat the record by a couple. I just did it by four, Randy did it by five. Uh, just so it's still accessible, it's fair. Because we could crank it up to like 100, 150, but then it's ju it's just not as fun. So there's my moral compass for the day. That is the reason why I stopped at 70 and 14 minutes. We could win for days, but I'd rather not. I'd rather save the fun for somebody else. So yeah, a little behind the scenes action, a little reasoning behind for you. From where? Canada. You are? So you, you follow Randy around and beat his records? I've coincidentally beaten a few of his records. I never intentionally tried. I, I, I know Randy actually. He's a cool guy. Seeing so you have food on my face. All right, so I had my camera and stuff all the way, but I'll bring it back out because this is just so beautiful. I have to show you. Um, so first off, again, winter in, and so there actually is an active hotel here. Uh, obviously, a restaurant. They, it is. It was built between 1900, 1902, and it, like there's a lot of history here. It's one of the oldest buildings in Greenville. But look at this. This is stunning. Like. Okay, see all these like little blossom thingy things? But, like look, the path. I don't even think the camera's doing it justice, but the path is just lined with like blossoms. It's freaking so beautiful, romantic. It comes all the way like, this is their patio area, I guess, but like, it's like cute, gated, like I don't know, Hans Labyrinth Bridge to Terabithia kind of thing. Here, I'll show you what it looks like in here. And there's like uh, this like, you know, again, all these beautiful petals with this weird, mystical, awesome looking gate. They have more like beautiful blossomy trees in there. Uh, just like these vines all over the walls. And it's just like, with all these petals right now, it's just freaking beautiful. Like, I don't even know how to describe it. It really, like, and there's a vine tree. Oh man, it just like, it speaks to my heart. I don't know why, like a little chair thingy thing, like, oh. It's just beautiful. But yeah, Greenville, would recommend. Really cool place. Um, it's quaint, it's, it's smaller, but I mean, go to the Winter Inn. The staff were freaking awesome. Everybody there was so cool. And those wings, I've never before eaten wings unsauced and enjoyed them. They're really good. So, I don't have to say anything. They definitely have some cool memorabilia here. Oh, you can barely see it. Hold on. There you go, that's better. They have a big bear. They have different animals, all these old signs and fixtures, and it just stretches all the way back to the restaurant. I know there's some history here. I'm just not familiar with what it is, but I will find out the history. It's a cool restaurant. They have some uh, some very affordable specials, like Tuesday, 5.50 for a burger and a pint of beer. That's pretty impressive. Uh, Monday, $5 chicken fettuccine or Alfredo, that's pretty cheap. They're even saving straws, save the turtles, that's always cool. I like this, only 11 bucks, all you can eat deep fried Alaskan cod, so that's pretty, that's a pretty good deal as well. About to cross the border, I went. And st I stopped and uh, got two little 50 cent frosties. While we're in the states, might as well take advantage of it. And uh, yeah, we're going back to Canada as soon as I get gas. And that was the Michigan trip, basically. 
I just, well, I still got to get home, but yeah.